Hi there, everyone. Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. We are talking about two tropical systems, Jellawat and Elwin Air, moving off there towards the northeast. Elwin Air is moving just southeast of Japan. Yesterday, this storm system combined with a front over Japan brought some rough weather. Also, we're talking about Jellawat, which is still wobbling just off the east coast of the Philippines. This storm system really just has been the topic all week sucking up all the energy in the room but first let's talk about uh this tropical system and that boundary that hit japan yesterday because that actually brought a tornado just showing you here a video actually covered here on the news today at nhk world just showing this tornadic event that was blowing up here in southern Hokkaido. It actually caused some damage to several homes uh, overturned a couple trucks and then delayed the train line for several hours there it's not unheard of to hear about tornadoes in japan if you remember back in early march we had a very strong one that blew through uh the tohoku region but uh, it is definitely unusual every time you see this. But also, today on the news, if you did not watch NHK World, I'm on there every evening covering not just the news in the Western Pacific, but also worldwide. We cover Jellowat, which is, uh, there's a picture of that absolutely gorgeous guy bringing you the news right now. So uh, let's talk about this storm system, though, and where it is going. It is already bringing some very heavy and intense rainfall across the Philippines and now moving off towards Taiwan. Taiwan, you could be seeing some rain uh, kicking upwards of about 250 millimeters per 24-hour period going into Friday. And that just seems very likely given the amount of moisture absolutely available to the storm system. You see all that inflow coming in from the South China Sea. This is kicking up and bringing heavy showers across much of the Philippines, Luzon, even North and Visayas still seeing. But also, look at that eye wall. It's going through its second eye wall replacement cycle today. That storm is a very intense and strong, and the eye itself is just rain-free. You can see it's clear down to the ocean if this was a visible imagery. Now, one thing that is going to start to weaken the storm system, though, is see all this area is in blue off there towards the north. That is some dry air starting to work into it, and right now I do think that we are getting near the peak intensity of this severe and violent typhoon. Because as it starts to work its way off here towards the north, it's going to start to hit an upper level trough, turn towards the northeast, and really get stretched out and weakened by the weekend into the late part of the work week. When I say by upper level trough, there is a jet stream blowing right through this entire area. It's actually having an effect in Awanir, which is currently kicking up winds in o the Osagara Islands. Uh, that is going to have an effect on both of these storm systems. Let's take a look actually at the 300, no, the 500 millibar height. And you can see here what I'm talking about. See all these lines with that very close gradient through here? Well, it does look like that's going to start to dive down. That's approximately where the jet stream is. And it should get close enough to the storm system where it's going to blow it across the entire southwestern Japanese island. Now, that's why I'm fairly confident we'll be taking that track there, basically lingering here just south of Taiwan until that trough comes down. Now, remember, this is about 30,000 feet up. We're really going to grab that and pull it towards the northeast, possibly even around the Tokyo region by the early part of next week with some heavy rain showers. But also on this map, uh, since I do have it up here, you see Ellen Air pulling around there towards the east and does go off there towards the north. And then that trough kind of takes an influence on it and pushes it off towards the northeast as well. That's just one thing you typically see this time of year with the westerlies and these storms moving off there towards the north. It's not too common. Uh, like we saw one actually with Sanba, but them have them go all the way off towards above uh, 30 degrees north into Korea and Japan as a full-fledged tropical system. So I did mention that I do expect it to pull, go off here towards the north, kind of linger just towards the southeast of Taiwan. That's going to bring an abundant amount of rains here, even northern Luzon. Actually, most of northern Luzon is under a signal force warning right now likely expecting some tropical storm or even typhoon to strength gust across this entire area going through the next several days so you definitely want to continue to follow your local warnings here and also flooding in low-lying areas and landslides on the steeper elevations as always very dangerous if you are in any of these flood or mudslide prone areas you do want to take proper precautions but Back to this, lingering here and then pulling off towards the northeast. JMA actually expects it to dive down towards the south and then pull north. Uh, maybe they're expecting it to kind of get wind sheared up here and maybe blow a little bit towards the south due to the jet stream. Uh, I'm not going to disagree with the Japan Meteorological Agency, and those are all doctors there writing this. But what I can say is I do think it's going to actually pull a little bit farther north across the Japanese islands here, getting wind sheared up. So what that means is that much of the convection likely is going to pull towards the right of the storm. And really going to also pick up its pace up to about 30 kilometers per hour, possibly, as it starts to rush off here towards the northeast. Now, for the sake of showing you several different agencies, here's Joint Typhoon Warning Center pulling off towards the north. They linger just towards the southeast of Taiwan and then rush this over Okinawa as well. 
I do think that this track, a little bit farther towards the north, could be likely. Now, in the long range, one thing I want to note, I've already seen a few people panicking about this heading towards Tokyo. It is not going to hit Tokyo as a severe tropical system, probably not even as a tropical storm. Basically, this storm will be going extra tropical, so it might start to form up some fronts around it. Still, you're going to be wanting to have your umbrellas ready across portions of mainland Japan here in Honshu. It could be a wet one, and even some still strong the gale force winds could be expected, but nothing too damaging across uh, Japan here as that storm starts to push off there towards the north. Even the Joint Typhoon Warning Center on the 1st of 12, the only expects uh, wind sustained at right around 30 and not as that starts to pull off there. And here's the model consensus from numerous outputs with that storm pulling off there towards the north and running over the southwestern Japanese islands before running off, making possibly a landfall uh, around the Kinki region, and that area is actually very prone to landslides and flooding, so definitely want to watch this here. I do think that the right front quadrant, due to the wind shear coming in from the west, would be the heaviest rain. So once again, Tokyo, you could be under the gun for some localized, very heavy rain showers going through the weekend as that storm system starts to pull off there towards the north. But for the time being, it is still a very potent and dangerous and deadly storm. Actually, across the Ilsagara Islands, also this storm system still kicking up 105 kilometers per winds for about the 3,000 residents that live on those small islands out there. It's starting to pull away. But as far as the Philippines, I do highly recommend, once again, continue to take proper precautions. Waves kicking up near the coastlines. Do not try to venture your fishing boats out there or go surfing or swimming in any of these waves. That is an absolutely foolish idea to go swimming out here right now. And then going into Taiwan, definitely flooding and landslides are going to be high of concern on those steeper elevations as that pulls off there towards the north. And then as it finally starts to recurve, Across the southwestern Japanese islands, and we have a lot of military watching there. You do want to take the proper cautions. Continue to follow up on the T course if some are issued for your area. Make sure you do take those cautions, i.e., uh, securing all your loose items. That basically always goes for any tropical system. But Okinawa, though, very resilient to storms. Although you still could be seeing a about a category one to two equivalent tropical system run overhead going through the week, and so it could be some very gusty winds. And then going into Japan, obviously, uh, much of mainland Japan that is. Uh, obviously, uh, you're going to be continuing to watch this for that risk of flooding and waves right near the coastline. Surfing, at least for the time being, might be safe, but it's definitely going to get rough going into the weekend. But that is all for right now, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at WesternPacificWeather.com. I'm going to leave you here with the MMIC, or a microwave imagery, uh, just on this tropical system. An absolutely incredible footage on this coming from one of our satellites. So please stay safe out there. Have a good day.